Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today's video, I'm going to use my brand new smartphone, the Motorola H20, to shoot some mushrooms in several creative ways. And I will give you some tips and tricks along the way to photograph mushrooms even better. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. But first, it's time for some intro. I instantly found a first mushroom which is this one right here and this will also help me to explain my first piece of advice to photograph mushrooms in general similar as to shooting flowers during spring and like I explained in my video with some spring photography basically the most important thing you have to do is go straight with your camera or with your lens on the same level as the object you want to shoot so in, for instance this mushroom over here the hood is positioned at this height so i'm going to position my camera from my smartphone to that height as well and that way you basically show some scaling some correct scaling and some realistic scaling of the actual mushroom now I'm walking to the next location and the last location as well because I want to keep this video rather short. I just want to point out one last technique or tip regarding mushroom photography and that's basically how you can create these magical glowing mushroom photos. All you need is a flashlight and a little tripod to position your camera on and then all you need to do is do some light painting with your flashlight on the root of the mushroom and that way you can create a glowing mushroom effect. I made a tutorial about that last year and I will post a link in the description down below. Okay, so I'm not going to test that effect right now because yeah, it's quite crowded and it's not dark enough to take this type of photos. So if you've seen my last video about dark, this is basically the location where I did shoot many of those shots. And right now, I'm putting that project on a hold, at least for now, because I have way too much other content in the working. Not abandoning this project, it's just not for now. And I'm going to look for one or two more photo opportunities. Now one benefit of going out in the woods after the rain is that many of the mushrooms have these little puddles on their hoods with water which makes them really shine. And that's something interesting to play with as well. But I'm not going to do that right now because I don't have any water with me and it didn't rain the past few days. Okay. Right here, you have these tiny growing mushrooms and I'm going to try. Right. As you clearly can see, it's becoming dark already. I tried to record a different video for shooting mushrooms with a smartphone last week as well. But I went out way too late during the afternoon and basically got surprised by how fast and how short these days are becoming. I ended up arriving at the location I wanted to take photos before sunset, but it was already way too dark to actually snap photos in the forest itself. 
food that's why I went out a little bit earlier today but as you clearly can see it's quite moody today not the perfect conditions to go out and shoot because you can also play with lighting and with sun flares interacting with the hoods of mushrooms but that's a different story and we're not going to be able to take photos for that today and that's one more photo no i'm going to snap some final shots in here and then i will try to record a different video and that video will be about shooting self-portraits and creating moody tones in Lightroom basically because I want to step up my editing process and showcase some of my editing workflows with you guys as well. Okay and how about these tiny ones? Oh sinking into the ground. Oh the next tree trunk There's some beautiful mushrooms as well. Yeah, this one is really beautiful. Oh, crap. This one is, is really beautiful. Playing with layers of depth as well. I'm going to show what I meant earlier on about shooting clusters of mushrooms the fact is if you play creatively around with them you can make them stand out as well and use them as layers of depth okay so that's it guys regarding mushroom photography so i will summarize up what I was talking about earlier and give a brief summary of all my tips and tricks so step number one always shoot at the same level of the mushrooms hood unless you're going for something more creative and want to portray the field of mushrooms or just the top of the mushrooms but then you will lose all depth in your photo and create a flat photo and next try to look for isolated mushrooms isolated subjects are way more photogenic and help you guide towards one single subject instead of shooting a cluster of mushrooms which will create some yeah distraction basically and then in that case the viewer of your photo will just lose the subject in the frame and that's not something you want to avoid and also make sure to take some of my sh my previous tips and tricks from my last video into account like creating layers of depth in your photo natural layers of depth and things like that and then you can also try and play around with the glowing mushroom effect the dreamy mushroom effect and I will post that link in my description below and that's basically it you can also play around with depth and clusters of mushrooms but that's something different and not that easy either it depends on how the mushrooms grow and also how the contrast of the mushrooms against the background is for instance a mossy background really have, helps to take photos of mushrooms that stand out from the background especially because mushrooms are most of the time brownish colored they will really jump straight out of the background and just remember that mushrooms tend to get different forms and shapes so not every mushroom is a hood plus a stem it also might be something more like a coral or things like that so without, without, so without the said, really hope you liked this shorter video 
you like the tips and tricks for shooting mushrooms in general. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you didn't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Let me know what photo you like the most in the comments down below. Without further ado, all the rest of me to say is that you don't need to be great to start, but start to become great. See you in the next video. Bye.